Hello and welcome to another episode of the world's fastest car show on eBay Motors. It's been a busy old week. I took a road trip on behalf of Jay Leno's garage in the all new BMW 6 Series convertible. And as you can see, I got a bit carried away. And then I take you inside one of California's most exclusive secret garages. You know, time is getting short. We better get going fast. Justin's come by with, uh, oh, another fancy car they let him borrow. It looks like a BMW. What do we got? Hi, Justin. How are you? I'm good, thanks. The new 6 Series. 6 then, Series. Okay, yeah, this yeah. is the V8 twin turbo? Absolutely. Yeah, now you're going to take this out for a little spin? Yeah, I'd like to. Okay, well, we got some work to do here, so uh, bring it back and let me know what you think. I will. All right, see you in a little bit. See you in a bit. Thanks. We'll be putting these springs on. First off, I've got to say that the... 6 Series is an absolute extraordinary convertible. Pretty much from the beginning of the development of the chassis, this new generation of 6 Series has come with a purpose-built convertible chassis. A lot of car companies just build a coupe and then cut the roof off. So the engine is very impressive. It was originally debuted in the 7 Series and it is a V8. 400 horsepower, 450 foot-pounds of torque, delivers its power very nicely thanks to twin turbos, a smaller one for a lower down in the rev range, and then this big one that when you really get on it like this, comes in and gives you all the yummy stuff that you need. Now, you can see in these twisty corners, the steering is just fabulous. That's because under 30 miles an hour, the rear wheels, turn in the opposite direction to the front. So when you're going in tight corners, it actually makes it feel like a much smaller car. And at high speed, in the performance mode, they turn inwards a little in line with the direction of the front wheels, which really helps. Like right now, gives me extra sure-footedness, like a mountain goat from Bavaria. The car is longer, wider, and lower. A bit like I will be in about 10 years. So in summary then, the 6 Series convertible is really an easy car to drive. I mean, base price is about 91,000. This one comes in about 101 with some goodies on it. You can even personalize the interior and exterior now with this very fancy personalization plan that uh, BMW offer. So the more money you want to spend, the better it's going to be. I really like the car. Obviously, one can get a little carried away in it. Jay, uh, unfortunately, it may take me a while to get home. I just hope you're not waiting for me. Hey, George, you heard from Justin? No, I saw him earlier. Yeah, he was here, but he's supposed to be back. Where did he know. go? He, he takes off from time to time, I don't know. He doesn't get in trouble with that car. Where the hell am I? Hopefully he's in some Mexican jail somewhere. As they say, you never know what goes on behind closed doors, and never a truer word was said when it comes to the secret garages of America. Take this, for example, an innocuous looking industrial park, a medical device company, very clever people building devices to save lives of surgeries in the future. But the other side of this wall is the most spectacular car collection, all owned by one guy. Not many people have ever seen it, but I've got you and I a special invitation. Let's check it out. So where do I start? The first Ferrari he bought was a Dino. 
But a lot of the cars are actually from the 70s and 80s. And shows like Magnum PI and Miami Vice help cultivate and perpetuate this exclusive and desirable, aspirational brand for the American public with the name Ferrari. Of course, the great thing about a private car collection is that you can buy exactly what you want. So, parked up next to this American classic is this white beauty. Now, if you were a boy in 1980, you definitely had a poster of one of these. And this is a special car. It is the only factory-built triple white Countach in existence. I bet you still got that poster. I also tend to find that many of these owners have what I call an auto perversion. And in this case, it's gullwing doors. And if you think those are impressive, over there in the corner is the Mac Daddy of Gullwing Doors, an original 1956 Mercedes 300 SL. Now, my award for the crazy car in this collection is this. It looks just like a normal Ferrari 400 at the front, but it isn't. It is a limousine that can hold about eight people. And with the owner of this collection having six kids, it is well used. Can you imagine getting picked up at the airport by a chauffeur with the Ferrari logo on his steering wheel? you know you're in for a good ride. The beauty about this collection is that all the cars in here are driven regularly. Even this one, a 2001 Michael Schumacher championship winning Ferrari Formula One car. A lot of history behind this. It was actually raced the week after 9-11 with a tribute black front nose cone. He's actually gonna restore that back to the colors from that day. It's an amazing car. To see someone drive around a car like this is truly special. Sitting here right now, I'm realizing I have unfulfilled career ambitions. So what do all these Ferraris have in common? Guess, no cup holders. Here's a little tidbit for you. Do you know that the owner of the collection is actually a self-confessed eBay Motors addict? Evidenced by the fact that over half the cars in the collection were bought by the website, including this one. It's a Model T. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's funny, in amongst all this European finery, this is his favorite. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. A huge thanks to my mate, Tony Nobles, for letting us into his secret garage. I asked him if I could take one home for the weekend. Guess which one I got. See you next time. Check back each week for more on your eBay Motors mobile app. And for even more world's fastest car show action, click over to ebaymotors.com forward slash WFCS, as in the world's fastest car show.